you know, those of us who've been through the, uh, I was actually through both attacks, 1993 and through uh, 9-11. And I, I think it's just a matter of, it's history. There aren't a lot of people that were actually there, particularly probably from our hometown, from Berkeley. And so that's a unique perspective for local people that I thought would be helpful to, especially the kids that are growing up in Berkeley today. I live on the corner of West End Avenue and 86th Street, which a normal commute day will be walk one block, get into the subway, ride it down to Portland Street, and then walk up the steps. When you walk up the steps, you're in the mall at the World Trade Center. That day, I, uh, I finally got dressed. I walked to the corner. Uh, when I walked to the corner, I noticed that it was the primary election for the mayor that day of uh, New York City, and that there's a and there's a polling place to the right of the of me when I when I go down that street. So I did that. I went. I go. Okay, I'll vote. So I went and I voted, and I came back to the subway. And when I did, I went down, and there was a train almost immediately there, but it was so full that I let it go. I let it go. The next train that I got on stopped on West Broadway and Chamber Street, which is about four blocks north of the World Trade Center. And when I got there, it stopped and, I, and it just kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And I wondered, what is taking so long? And it was a beautiful day, completely crystal clear day. So I thought, I'll just walk. So I came, I came out of the subway. When I came out of the subway and I looked down the block, there's a clear view of my tower, which is, uh, I was in, actually called World Trade Center One. They call it the North Tower in all of the coverage of this. And when that when I saw that, I saw that it had been hit and that it was burning very clearly. And I I, I knew because of 93 that 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 it was a terrorist attack. You know, it was pretty clear to me. And I ran so I ran down there. And it was strange because I'm running down toward the Trade Center. And of course, everyone else is walking the other way toward me, but I'm running past them. And uh, when I got really close, one block away, there's a post office there, one block away, I was gonna go up some stairs and go onto the plaza into my building and try to help. But the police were already there. They said, where are you going? And I, I said, I'm, I'm gonna go into the Trade Center and help because I work for the Port Authority and we own the building, so I'm gonna go help. And they're like, no, you, you're not gonna go in, you know, kind of chuck, no, you're not going in. And then there was a little bit of an argument, like, you know, oh yes, I am. I Last time I was there in uh, 93, I helped, and I'm gonna, you know, we own the building, so I'm gonna go help. And they're like, no, you're not going anywhere. So instead of taking that as, okay, I'm gonna turn around, I took a left on the street there, which, right, which is right behind the post office and thinking that I was gonna come around in the front of the Trade Center in Church Street, which is a big wide opening onto a plaza called the Austin B. Tobin Plaza, and you see the two towers. And uh, when I did that, I got about, I don't know, 10 feet from the corner. And as I did, I heard an airplane, probably the loudest airplane jet sound I've ever heard in my life. It was as if the plane was like right here above me. Like it was just so loud and then it hit the building. And I didn't see that because the post office was between me and the building and I was 10 feet from stepping out onto Church Street. But when that happened, um, windows started to break that 10 feet out because there were glass fronts to the buildings and so on. Um, and debris was flying through the air. Um, and so my reaction was to like shelter against the building. It's like a split second thing that I just like, okay, let me just protect myself. And I looked up, I could see just black paper, burning paper, like the sky was a cloud filled with burning paper that had been pushed out and black, you know, black things floating through the air and so on. And uh, probably uh, just a couple of seconds after that, when I realized that, okay, so it stopped. There's no more, there's no nothing else breaking. I, I stepped out onto Church Street and obviously didn't take the right toward the Trade Center. I took the left and ran up the block about four blocks before I actually kind of realized, oh, I'm, I'm like four blocks away from the Trade Center now. 
And uh, ultimately, I decided to walk up to the Holland Tunnel, which is about a mile away, because I was a designated person for the Emergency Operations Center for the Port Authority from the Human Resources Department. But when I got there, um, the, there were two semi-tractor trailers parked across the front of the tunnel entrances, stopping anybody from going in and out. And it was pretty clear then that I wasn't gonna go anywhere except home that day. And just as that happened, we all looked down and there was a view of the Trade Center and there was a giant mushroom cloud, like as it collapsed. We all looked at it and it was, it was like, you know, real disbelief among all of us. Like, you couldn't tell it was gone at first. The, the, the rubble was such a cloud that it covered everything and you couldn't really see that it wasn't there until a minute or two later. And then it was clear it wasn't there and we were all just, you know, jaw dropped. I can't believe it's not there, you know. I mean, one of the things that, that, it, it, that you'd be surprised at, one of the most things that stick with me the most is how we support each other in tragedy. Like uh, that, that, that people pull together in tragedy and they're, that's very important. And unfortunately, it, it, it takes a tragedy sometimes to pull people together like that and just forget everything else and, uh, and support one another. And that is the most palpable sense I have of anything in the aftermath of what happened. For anything then, and people all over the country would, it would just show up. Like uh, the, the pile where, we call it the pile, that was a, where the steel fought, fell, um, was hot for like four months because there are fires underneath. And, and so people's boots would melt the, over, the, over time. And so that was a known need. And so truckloads full of tractor trailers would arrive from somewhere, anywhere, you know, bringing new boots, just, okay, here's boots guys, you know? And then people were showing up from all over the country um, to help um, first responders and mental health professionals and cooks and all kinds of people like just showing up and you know doing that so it just drives home like the one of the things is that really let's keep in let's keep in mind what's important which is that we are all common we're all what we all have in common is we're all humans and we all need to work together um, and really help each other out that's the thing i'd like them to remember most or take with them the, the, the whole idea of like remembering the people that died yes but make their life meaningful by honoring them um, and respecting each other this is the new world trade center it's not in exactly the same spot as the old trade center it's a little bit off the side because the footprint where the old World Trade Center was is now the World Trade Center Memorial. Walking up to the memorial pool for one World Trade Center, this was the building that I worked in. These are the names of some of the people that died in the World Trade Center on 9-11, 2001. Most of these names come from the company that I work for, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Yes, this year, it was 20 years, so one of the things we did was we placed roses on everyone's name at the World Trade Center Memorial. So there are 85 of us, Port Authority employees. <laughs> and we went there together. We said a word, we said a few words, we, we placed the roses in their names and, and remembered them. 